Hello and welcome to this thriftbooks.com video. I'm going to be searching for some used books because I want to see if I can get it used before I can get it new. And the first book that I was interested in is Rooms by Lauren Oliver. I don't really like the paperback cover of it, so I wanted to get the hardcover and it actually turned out to be a pretty decent price anyway. I wanted the hardcover because I like the red and the black on the cover. I think it's very pretty. So let's add this one to my cart because I know I want it for sure. $4.79. So I love that with thrift books, if you spend $10, it's free shipping. So the next book that I was interested in finding was Lycanthropy and Other Chronic Illnesses, which I was, at this time, I was reading it, and it was due at the library. I had to return it, and I had no access to the ebook, so I wanted to see if I could just buy it for a good price, and it's loading and loading, and no. It looks like it's only you can buy it new pretty much. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this one because um, I could just buy it new somewhere else. Now we are in my wish list. And this is just kind of where I put a bunch of books that I'm interested in so that when I want to make an order like right now, it's easy to remember what books I want. So... I'm looking at Vanessa Savage because I'm reading Into the Woods right now and it's okay, but I really wanted to read The Woman in the Dark, but I got Into the Woods from the library first. So I can see here they have hardcover and paperback and I don't necessarily want a paperback. I like having hardcover books because it looks prettier on my bookshelves. This book is about a family who moves into a house that was being called murder house for the last 15 years because there was a family that died in the house and so the family is going to move in kind of for a fresh start but you know how I feel about haunted house books I'm really excited to read this one I hope it's creepy and I hope it's a ghost story and not like a people story you know like people are the ones who are like haunting it okay so I'm gonna add that to the cart and um let's see what else that we can get and it says I need to spend 22 more cents in order to get free shipping so of course I'm gonna do that and then I see the woman in the dark there was a different edition there it looks like a really cool cover. I like that one a lot better than, than the other cover. Yeah, this is definitely my kind of book. <laughs> if it just looks like that, I could just tell. It actually reminds me a lot of the books by Sherry Lapina. Le Le of course, I'm going to say that wrong. So now I'm searching haunted house books. But unfortunately, it looks like a lot of them are like kids books. I'm like, I don't want a kids book. I want like an adult haunted house or even a YA haunted house story. So if you know of any really good like ghost stories, let me know. Like I'm sure you've probably seen in previous videos. I love talking about Home Before Dark. I loved that book so much. So if you know any like it, let me know. Now I want to look at the suggested reads to see if there's anything that I want to add to my cart or even to my wish list for something to read later. And this is a great way to find new books or find new things that you want to read. I think it's a really great site. Um, I really like these Darcy Coats. You can see they're on like the right side. And I'm going to look up Darcy Coates of course but it's actually really hard for me to ever find Darcy Coates novels like anywhere for a discounted price so you can see like these ones are all pretty much 
the same price that you can buy them at Barnes & Noble brand new. So I just, you know, I'll just pick it up later. They also don't really have it at the library either. So that's why it's like, okay, how can I read these? So since all of these books are all pretty much, you know, the normal price, let's see what else I can find. So I'm going to look up Eva Gates, which is a author that does cozy mysteries that I really like. I suggest these if you like lighthearted mysteries and it's like takes place in a library that's in a lighthouse. Really cool. But this one, The Spook in the Stacks, I really, really want to read this for Halloween this year. And so why not just buy it at a discounted price? So they have the paperback, but that's about the price that you can get it at Barnes and Noble. And I didn't even know there was a hardcover. So I'm kind of intrigued by this. I'm really hoping it has the same cover though, because I love that artwork. So if it's different, I'm going to be very sad. So we will see when it comes in the mail. Okay, now let's search Halloween and see what comes up. Probably it's going to be a bunch of kids books. Oh, yep. Yeah, I, th I think I'm, you know, half right there. <laughs> we got, you know, Agatha Christie, Clifford, Arthur. These are hmm, more kids books. More kids books. Earl Stein. Scary stories. That's still not catching my eye. Hmm, more kids books. I probably read some of these when I was a kid. There's a Charlie Brown one out there. But no. Hmm. How about we... Oh, there's another Earl Stein Halloween night. I already have that, though. How... I should find a way to filter out the kids' books so I can only see, like, mm, ones more for young adult or adults. So let's do that sort and filter. And then I'm going to go down to genres and let's click that one Halloween. Um, now let's see how can I, anyway, I can just get out. Oh, there we go. Age range. Okay. Let's, oh, nine to 12. That's the oldest they have. Uh, it's still going to show a lot of kids books though. Hmm. Huh. Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew. Okay, this looks adorable, but it's, that's almost the, probably the price you can get it brand new. Hmm. Halloween night. What is this like when Nancy Drew was like a toddler or something? She was solving crimes already. <laughs> they can't wait for the Halloween special of their favorite TV show and they get the chance to visit the studio. Okay, that just sounds really, really cute, but I've never read a Nancy Drew and the Clue Crew, so... I don't know if it's, like, dumb or, like, is it going to be sound dumb to me because I'm not a kid? Maybe that'll be something for, you know, in the future when I have family. I can read to them Nancy Drew and the Clue Cruise. So let's go back here. More kid stuff. <laughs> More Halloween. I'm just really excited that we're nearing October. And... Okay, I'm not really seeing anything that I'm like super into. So let's start the process of checking out. So we've got the Spook in the Stacks, $8.99 hardcover. We've got the Woman in the Dark, hardcover $4.99. And Rooms, hardcover for $4.79. I don't have a promo code. Free shipping, four to eight business days. Order summary comes to $18.77. And... I'm going to, oh, look, I'm almost at my free book. So that's kind of exciting. I think for every dollar you spend, it gives you like eight points or something. You get a certain number of points, you get a free book. So I love that. So I'm really close to that. And the total was $20, $0.22. I received them in the mail. Gift books. Okay, so it took about a week for these books to get delivered to me. So not bad. Let's open them and see uh, how they look. Okay, we have an ex-library book. 
Lauren Oliver rooms. I was very excited for this one from Bainbridge Library. I wonder where that's from. These from thrift books, they can come from all over the US. So I what I do like about getting X Library books is they're protected, these covers. And if I really want, I could take this cover off, but I kind of want to leave it to just protect it. Cool, I'm excited. So this book is about a patriarch that has died and his family is coming to this house to get their inheritance. But I think the families don't get along. Um, they were never really close with the person that died. And there's ghosts here. There's I, The synopsis actually says there's ghosts that haunt the house. So I'm like, I think I found myself an actual ghost story. Let's hope. <laughs> I don't know. I... I just absolutely love this cover. I don't know why, it just really resonates with me. The artwork, like I love the, the tree coming out of the house and the red and I'm very excited for this. I hope it's good. Do you ever order books and then you're like, I kind of forgot what I got or like I remembered rooms, like I know I got this one because I was most excited to get that one. But I added on a couple extra, but part of me forgot what they were. <laughs> so, <gasps> wait, it is the same. The artwork on the cover is the same as the paperback. And I'm very excited because I loved this cover. I really like books by this author. Um, so I was really excited to get Spook in the Stacks. Let's see when this came out. 2018. 2018. How come I haven't heard about it until this year? Maybe the paperback just came out and that's why I'm starting to see it. So this book is originally $26.99 and I got it for, what, like $6? It's before in the video. It wasn't that much. That is why I love thrift books. And... This is in really good condition. Like, it looks almost brand new. Um, the pages aren't dog-eared. Nothing's written in. It looks very good. I would say this is good condition. I also like to see. Oh, that's just, this is beautiful. I just love it. It's just black gold writing. Very pretty. So, this story is about a man who's, thinking about donating his collection to the library and some other places, but there's like competition to get it. But he ends up being killed, I think in the library, so he kind of becomes a ghost. Um, and the library, this lighthouse is actually a library and the girl who is the librarian in it solves murders, like, because apparently a lot of murders happen in her library or around it. So, uh, it's just so cute. I can't get over how cute it is. And I'm so excited that it is almost the fall. I love Halloween. It's probably one of my favorite holidays. I love reading spooky books, watching scary movies. I've been watching some super scary movies uh, <laughs> the last couple of months and I just love them. Okay. Scariest movie I think I've ever seen, Annabelle Creation. That one was amazing. Like, be scared. Be prepared to be scared watching that one. And the last book I ordered. Da -da -da -da. This is another X library book. The Woman in the Dark by Vanessa Savage. Um, again, I don't mind X library books. It just reminds me of the library, and I love the library. So this one's from Jefferson County Public Library, Lakewood, Colorado. I hope this one's good. This one looks like it has um, water damage, so that's not fun. So this is probably going to be a book if I read it and I don't like it. It's probably going to go to a little free library. Yeah, this definitely has water damage. Yeah, you can see it. You can see, see how wavy these pages are in the center. Yeah, but... It's not unreadable. Nothing is wrong with the ink. Um, it's just I don't really want to know what water it is. Someone's probably reading it in a bathtub because it's it's just water that's spilled on it. So, 
or maybe it was a leak. Who knows? Okay, so this one, what it's about, um, I think I already mentioned before, but it's about a place called Murder House where they go live there after a tragedy has occurred. And uh, so the supposed murder or whatever was paroled from this murder house. And, um, so Sarah's living there now where the crime occurred. And, um, I think she's worried that, uh, the household secrets and she's going to figure out what they are. So this one sounds intriguing. I hope that it's better than Into the Woods because that one I'm kind of like not super into. Um, I don't know why the stories sound really good. It's just... I don't know, nothing much happens or there's too much description. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it yet. I'm just going to keep reading it and I'll eventually read this one. So, okay. well, I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you got to see more how thrift books works. And if you're okay with getting used books, I think thrift books is a great option, especially with that like $10 you know, if you have a $10 order, it's free shipping. So like, that's amazing. I got three books for, I think it was like $20. I recently did another thrift books order. I spent $11 on two books. I'm just, I'm amazed by how affordable they are. And it's like when you go to a used bookstore, you're not always going to know if the book that you want is there because you just never, never know what their inventory is like. But with thrift books, it's really easy. You just look, you just like search it and they have a lot of books, you know, except for the new ones, of course, unless you're willing to pay full price for it. They do have some new books that they sell there. Um, for example, like the Lycanthropy one that I saw was on there. So anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you have fun getting your own books from Thrift Books and let me know if you go order anything and what you're excited to read and thank you for watching this video bye i got another shipment of thrift books i made another order these are two non-fiction books we have dan miller's 48 days to the work you love this book is about making a career based on your personality and what would be a good fit for you so I thought it'd be an interesting read and I saw it in this book. So that's why I looked it up. Next, I love this one. The Power of When by Michael Bruce, PhD. I read an ebook version of this and it's really cool. It's about chronotypes. So you find out which one you are and then it tells you like the best times to do so. Best time to eat, sleep, make love, best time to take your medicine, best time, it's, it's like for everything. So it's really interesting and I really want my boyfriend to read this because I think he would like it because I always talk about it. So I'm like, I'm just going to buy the book. And both of these were, they were $5 each. So I think that's a great price and I'm excited to read them.